Now I've decided to go stay with the bottom. I've got the bottom milled out real nice. It lines up, the bottom tang lines up with, with the bottom of the stock. So I'm going to adjust the top. And this thing needs to go right there. It's about a sixteenth of an inch, give or take. So that makes it pretty easy to do. I can chuck it up with my marks. This set of marks right here is where my vice face was. I can chuck it right back up in that same place and just drop all this a sixteenth. Maybe a teeny bit light on the, the back end of it. That is really, really close. It's hitting across this where the wood meets the metal. It's touching hard right here and it's got about 10 thousandths gap on the top. It's touching at the bottom. So I need to take off from the bottom about 10 thousandths. <clears throat> if I can do that. It could go it could go back about that same amount on the bottom tang and it could go back at least that much on the top tang trying to take off ten thousandths with control is going to be tough Fits like it grew there. What I do when I'm drilling a hole for a bolt, and I don't have a jig set up to drill a million of them. I draw a line, <clears throat> square up with this hole, put a line there, put a line there, connect the two. When I'm drilling, I'll aim down that line. And get this thing comfortable where I can see that line standing comfortably to drill from right here. I'm going to try to mark that hole from the bottom without hitting the threads. That hole is sitting half on and half off of a little lip. Well, would I made a dentist or what? I'm telling you, I'd have made a dentist. What I do is I drill that hole smaller than what I need. That way if I need to adjust it, I can do that. But I think it's straight through. I connected top and bottom. And that lets that screw go in in there easy, easily. But it looks like it needs to go shift over to the right just a smidge. Looks like it needs to come forward a little bit, which that's fine because that draws it in tight. I 
I always drill them a little bit too far back so that they'll suck that thing back in there. But don't want to get them too far forward, then they're loose. Then you gotta fill that hole full of epoxy and redrill it. That is perfect. If you're wondering why I'm drilling upside down, you can look down in there and see that drill bit coming at you, and you can steer it. You can guide it. If you have to adjust a hole, that's the way you do it. That screw bottoms out. That's the bottom end of that screw right there. And it tight, it's tight on top. So... It's not the original screw, but hey, the thing's 105 years old. All right, now I'm going to, by hand, I'm going to peel off. See how much of this wood is sticking up over that? I'm going to just take that off. I may put it back on the mill. Just take it off. Take a little bit of it off with the milling machine. Get it down closer anyway. Bottom is close. See, I've got mm, 30 second of an inch right there. Maybe a little heavier than that there on the back, but that I can pare down with a chisel. And around the edges, around here, I'll just take it down to the edge of the metal, leave it a little fatter, just a teeny bit thicker. Um, little, little tiny guns like this, if you take it all the way down to the metal, they're so tiny, they're so flimsy. The original factory stocks were proud of the metal a little bit. And then sometimes they even had a little curve into them where they tapered down. I believe I will chuck that up in the, in the mill and take part of that top off. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but this thing has got some pretty neat burl up here on top. It's kind of, it's kind of burly right there. And the reason I'm going to mill this off instead of slice it off with a chisel is burl does not slice it just doesn't it just goes everywhere so the more i more of it i can get rid of with the mill the less i have a chance of uh, messing it up with a chisel if you got a razor sharp chisel and some good luck on your side you can do that but it's very easy to do this I can peel the rest of that off by hand.
this is where you got to start getting real. You got to tread lightly here, my friend, because you can rip out a chunk of this stuff before you even know it. On this side, the grain is going my way. It's still crazy, but it's going my way. Sort of. Not right there, it's not. Fair amount of sanding. Now shape the rest of it down by hand. Pretty close. Right now I'm going to go eat supper. Good night, Gracie.